So in today's exciting instalment, we're going to fit this E46 Hall Effect throttle pedal to this E36 car. As you can probably see here, we have a standard cable throttle set up here and uh, it's basically giving trouble um, because the throttle sensors aren't clearly designed uh, for what I'm trying to do with them. So at the present time, the throttle cable here basically comes up out of the firewall all, and follows up to the old uh, throttle um, body here that I took off the original petrol petrol engine and it basically just controls the throttle this way and it goes into this throttle sensor that sends a signal back to the motor con controller here that basically tells us how much power to send out into the traction system so what I'm going to try to do today is to take all of that out and to put this guy in because this has two Hall Effect sensors in here that basically activate from uh, some kind of a little cam setup in here. So I'm going to get a hammer and I'm going to tear out that throttle pedal and see if we can get this to fit. Okay, that's it for now. Can you see this crap in, in here? Yep. Alright, nice one. So we're supposed to we're supposed to wedge this pedal out of here somehow with a screwdriver, according to the fantastic Haynes manual. Let's try a bit of brute force. There we go. It's got something happen. There we go. Jesus Christ, that's typical Haynes manual, isn't it? Oh, it just eases out. Of course it does, yeah. Looking like a right moron now. I told you I didn't need a hammer. Yeah, that came out very handy. Um, only needed a precision hammer and uh, a couple of other precision tools. So now, I'm gonna try to get this stop out of here and this bar. So, might just end up cutting that off, but we'll see if we can get that stop out of there now. So I'm gonna need to get a, to get a vice grip or something, I think, to unscrew this with. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. We need to get a vice grip. And we're recording. Okay, so we got this bolt throttle stop thing, uh, thing out of there. Now it looks as if there's an 8mm bolt of some, or sorry, and put in there. So in theory, I might just be able to bolt my new throttle assembly in there to that surface and get a kind of a fixing on here somewhere. So where did that throttle pedal go to there? Now here it is. I'll see if I can fit it in there now that we've all that junk out of there. <coughs> okay, look at that. Look at that. That's made for the task. That's made for the task. So, let look at that there now. I'll get rid of all this crap off the end of this. Okay. I could use that as a bolt. And then just basically through a hole here, because this is only plastic here, and just have something coming through that in that kind of a way that I could secure down into that, into this here. That just basically treads in like that. So that might well be the plan. If I can get an idea of this light where that is. It is below the arm on the pedal, so that means that we can drill that safely. And we can pretty much have that held in like that. It can't really go anywhere. Maybe be able to get a fixing down here. 
through the chassis of the car so that the two fixings pull against each 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 uh, other and hold the thing in there. So I'm going to get rid of this throttle arm, get rid of the throttle cable, and we'll see then if we can get a hole in this thing to bolt into the the frame of the car. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking these Phillips screws out of the underside here. Because we need to get at the uh, we need to get at the uh, pedal box assembly. So I think all this stuff has to come out of here first of all. I'm pretty sure this stuff is here. There's no one in the middle there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Out, I think it's going to start. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's just such a spot. There we go. Now we're in business. Alright, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, looks like I broke the throttle pedal anyway, so that doesn't make any difference. And just cut that cable and just pretty much uh, bludgeon that thing out of there. I think that's uh, <coughs> here we go. Oh, look at that. Too easy. Okay, so her snips. Uh, that's it, we're done. Well, yes, um, this is the correct procedure for fixing your car. No. Okay, uh, so we can get rid of the travel cable from the engine bay now. Uh, I'll leave all this stuff off. And we get a much better view of our... God reach, God reach, help, got it. Okay. Now we got a better view of our throttle pedal assembly from E46 Beamer into E36 Beamer. Now, look at that. Okay, and where's my connection then for my Hall Effect should be... Down there, which is grand, so I can bring that back out through that hole and pull the throttle cable, cable out of. So, okay, let's have a look around the engine bay and bring some uh, precision tools. Alright, engine bay. Kind of a scenario with this cable here. Oh, oh here we go. That's it. Okay. Uh, so, Oh yeah, I can actually see down with a little plastic uh, kind of a hole type thing here, so I should be able to bring the new cable for the throttle up through that guy. So that'll take care of that problem. Anyone want to buy a second hand E36 throttle cable? Uh, okay, so we can drill that out, we can, get, we, can get, we can get shut of all that stuff afterwards. So let's try to get the pedal in and cabled up. And then we can just throw out all that crap. Okay, back so. Okay, so hopefully be able to see. A very easy job uh, to get the throttle pedal in there. Uh, it's bolted in on the floor and to the bolt behind where the old uh, pedal stop was. So got a very nice feel to that. Uh, it's very solid, it's not going anywhere. So the next part is just to hook up the uh, signal cables to the controller. And that'll be us done. Okay, so we got our new throttle signal cable in here now. Hooked into the control board. 5 volts, ground and signal. And it just goes back in here. Where the old throttle cable went in. So it's all calibrated, set up, and uh, just going to close up, <coughs> quick test drive, and that's all stuff.
it works. And that's it in all its glory. Installed and functional. And uh, <coughs> I have to say it feels a lot better. It's much smoother action on it. And uh, very happy with that now. So I think that's a gore.